Hello, everyone. Welcome to Make an Impact Monday. I'm Lori Joy, and I'm excited to have you here today. We are going to dive in and we are going to talk about the top three tips, right? My top planning tips that you need in order to have that growth in your business in the new year. So if you're here, say hello. Uh, let me know that you're here. Let me know if you can see me and hear me. That's always beautiful. I always love that. I'll be full, full disclosure today. I am in no way, shape, or form a tech guru. So you can see here that I am trying out StreamYard because it has the logo up here in the corner. And um, I love my team. I have the best team. So I'm experimenting with banners and different things today. So, hey, hi, Linda. Hello. That's great. Thank you so much. Um, and I just want you to know that uh, <laughs> practicing as I go. The only way that, um, hi, Janice, the only way that we get better at technology is sometimes stumbling through it, ladies. So if you are a stumbler through technology like myself, just know that at any shape or any point of your business, that's where we're all at and that's good to go. So hi, Melissa. This is Melissa's little trick. She showed me how to do these. She sent me a loom over the weekend. I love her to bits. And so we are going to dive in and talk about the top three planning tips that your business needs to have in order to get that extreme growth in 2022. Okay. Ah, yes. We always practice in our academy as well. So this is what's going to happen. Um, we're going to walk through this. I'm going to try and put the points up on the screen. Bear with me as I go. But in essence, we were talking about the simple path to productivity. And I love things to be simple. Here at Launch It Live Simplified, hence the name of the group, I'm always trying to make your job as an entrepreneur simpler because we have enough things in our head to think about when it comes to actually implementing our business or automating our business or even planning for our business. Hi, Julie Fairhurst. This is what's happening. We are in the greatest time right now in order to be planning for our business for next year. So if you do not have a path or a, um, you know, everything laid out in your business for January of 2022, today, this is where we're actually going to dive in. And I'm going to show you just how we did it this year. I'm going to walk you through the process that I took in order to have a six figure year before well before the year was over. So, and this is, you know, this is something new to us. This is uh, us hitting a new goal. But I tell you right now, these three tips that I'm going to share with you, these planning tips to productivity are going to blow your mind and really change the face of your business. And that's what we're doing here. So if you're here and you're new, and this is the first time you're seeing me, I'm Lori Joy. I help online course creators and network marketers have five figure launches using five day boot camps. And in the new year, ladies, in this and gents, in this particular group, we are going to walk you through the process and show you exactly how to set up your own boot camp for your own business. The power of the boot camp is real. And so luckily you're here in this group. You'll be the first ones to um, see that. So today I'm going to share with you, like I said, my top three planning tips that change the face of my business and just nine short months, we hit a uh, hundred plus K. And this is what we're doing right now in the next little bit in order to have a profitable Q1 for 2022. So some of you can see it coming to life here. Um, well, usually behind me, but my calendars will be up very soon. And I told you a story two weeks ago about me cleaning my office and finding a book that I took down off of my bookshelf to like not reread, but actually finish reader and reading. And an hour later, I was making significant changes to the way I thought about my business. And I thought, stop doing all the things and just start doing the one thing. And hence the title of the book, The One Thing. So for the past three weeks, I've been walking you through, you through some essential learnings within this book called The One Thing by Gary Keller. And I'm going to apply some of his principles and what actually I implemented this year that changed the face of my business. So say hi if you're here. Let me know, ladies, because I'm always, I, I'm a planner junkie. If any of you are a planner junkie, like a paper planner junkie, you have to let me know in the comments. Um, are you a paper planner? Do you use wall calendars? 
Do you use digital calendars? Do you use a mix of them? And then I want you to have a, a piece of paper handy so that you can jot down these three tips that will change the way that you think, and more importantly, how you do your business, okay? How you do your business. So let's see, who is here? Hello, Heather. Hi, Nicole. Who, yeah, paper planner at heart. Okay, paper planner at heart. So am I, so am I. I have my new passion planner for 2022, and I have tried all of them. I have, tr I have all my planners sitting there in um on my shelf and I try them all but this year I implemented a couple of things I used wall calendars now we are very visual people okay we are very visual people and what happens is when you have your calendar and your promotions and everything laid out so that you can see it I think it alleviates a lot of stress so when I actually go into today I'm going to talk about how I planned out this year. Heather says paper all the way. Okay. I'm old school ladies. I'm old school. I do have to put reminders in my phone so that I remember what I wrote in my paper planner, but I love a good pen to paper action, writing out my, you know, what I need to accomplish that week. Right. I've tried both, but the paper seems better if it doesn't change much, but Google calendar is a go-to day to day. I have just started using Google um, Calendar. I'm not very good at it, <laughs> to be honest with you. And um, But I'm trying. I'm trying, ladies. I'm trying. Okay, we have somebody else who's use, using paper. I love it. So I put reminders in my phone, but I do use paper. And so when we're talking about these particular tips that I'm going to share with you today, I want you to know that a lot of this has gone... Um, a lot of this has changed, sorry, due to the paper planner, due to the wall calendar. And Heather's just started with calendar, uh, with Google Calendar as well. Okay, so let's get into the first tip, right? The first tip that, and again, I'm taking these from Gary Keller's book, but I'm going to show you how we implement them in our business. So the first tip is to live with purpose. Now, sometimes that's more easily said than done, ladies. Sometimes we're like, yes, we have to find our passion. Yes, we have to find our purpose. And all of you that are in this group, you have something that you want to be, do, or have more of and share with the world. So we're constantly looking for our purpose. I love this particular quote. This comes from the book. And it says, life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating creating yourself. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that incredible? And this resonates so much with me and what we're doing here, not only in this group, but in my, in my particular um, programs with my ladies, and we're always creating ourselves. We have skill sets, passions, um, expertise that we go out and we share with the world, whether we're launching it live, like I teach, or we're creating courses, which some of my ladies are actually going through right now. I can't wait to see what, um, for you to see what they're creating. But what happens is it's not about finding ourselves. It's in the creation of our programs. It's in the creation of our courses. It's in the building our network marketing business that we're actually starting to create ourselves. Right. And I'm going to go into this um, in depth here. So um, in the book, in this particular chapter, and this is very fitting because the holiday season is around the corner. This particular chapter in the one thing, Gary Keller starts by opening and he's telling the story of Ebenezer Scrooge and the ever popular um, um, story, The Christmas Carol. And seeing as most of you know it, I'm not going to go into the story. He actually flushes the actual story out. But he says, when we meet Ebenezer Scrooge, he is all about money, right? He doesn't care about the people. All he cares about is making and hoarding money, right? And it's not until after the haunting of his three ghosts that Ebenezer comes out the other side of the story as someone who now appreciates people and uses his money to save them. So I want us to think and look at our business and start to think of it as a means to an end. 
in that we ultimately want to make money because we're running a business. I get that. But what we are doing along the way and the journey to obtaining that profitable business, that is what is going to raise essentially our happiness factor. Okay. Now let me explain. Let me explain. Um, in the book, Gary Keller talks about um, who we are. Okay. And where we want to go determines what we want to do and what we want to accomplish. Okay. So I'm going to take this particular um, phrase here and I'm going to break it down into how we can implement this in our very own online business. Okay. All right. And I'll pop these back up on the screen periodically. So who we are and where we want to go can, can and will determine what we do and what we can accomplish. Now, who we are. Let's start with the who we are part. Let's take a snapshot of who we are at this time in our business. Let's think about where we are in our business and are we happy? Are we fulfilling a much needed passion? Are we constantly learning? Are we constantly growing? Are we open to new and exciting opportunities? Are we investing? Are we being coached? Are we leading with effectiveness? Now, I often say this to my ladies that I coach and that we all want to have massive success in our business, but it's in the journey and the steps, right? that um, allow us to become profitable in our business that make us the leader and the coach that people are looking for. So when I first think back to when I came online some 11 years ago, ladies, truth be told, I was not in any position to welcome a massive, massive amount of clients into my business. I didn't have a lot of things in place like automation and funnels and a website and, and even any business strategy. It was very mm, low level. <laughs> I was simply teaching something that I had experienced myself to other moms who wanted the same outcome as myself, right? And in the 11 years of my journey of being online, I have come to grow into my coaching realm and status so that I can be the business owner who is having five figure launches on repeat, hiring an incredible team of people, having a six figure business and going into a new year with goals that I never thought we would ever have in my business, like goals I never ever entertained in my, in my mind, to be honest with you. Okay. So some of you who are just beginning, um, and learning by experience, right. You want to step into your purpose more fully. Give yourself some grace and space in order to do that. But here's the example I give to my ladies when we're talking about growth. We all want hundreds, if not thousands of people in our business. But sometimes we do not hold the capacity professionally to have that. And so when Gary Keller is talking about live with purpose, do the things that make you happy in your business and just know that the more you experience, the more people you coach, the more people you teach, the more people you let into your business and or your network marketing company, the more you will grow as a, as a, as a coach, as a leader, as a professional, as a business owner, right? We, we grow into that every single day. It's in the journey. Remember that first quote? It's in the journey that gets us to be ready and gets us to be profitable in our business. I could never have come in online and had hundreds of women join me. I had 17 women. And you know what? The universe delivered exactly what I could handle. Because I didn't have um, I didn't have a lot of confidence when I first came online as to what I was doing because I thought, well, this really worked for me. And I know that, you know, I know that it can work for my moms, but I didn't, I had never done this before. And so, of course, I had no back end system whatsoever. So I could never have even handled hundreds of people coming into my business. And if I asked you this question really, really honestly, tell me in the comments. Do you have the capacity in your business to let hundreds of people come in right now? 
right? Do we have the systems? Do we have the ability to scale? And do we have the, the mental capacity to let that in, okay? So sometimes what happens is we're always looking to that end. And I love that because that's our goals. That's where we set our, our, our timelines, our frameworks, our offers, whatever that may be, right? Right. Sharon honestly says no. And that's what happens. It's as you get better at what you're doing, when you become the master, right? When you become the master, then we are able to have the ability to welcome more people in. And I tell you, ladies, going through this, going through these steps and doing the planning that I'm going to share with you in a little bit has literally changed the face of what we do here every day in my business. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a funny story in a little bit about an event that I went to and something I... um I, I accomplished or something I had heard and it's made all the difference. So Nicole very honestly says no, right? We grow into that. We grow into that. But if we're not, you know, showing up on a continual basis, doing something and putting those offers out in front of our people, they're not going to know what we're doing. They're not going to know where we're going. They're not going to know that we're there to show up. Okay. Let's take the second part of that quote. The second part of this quote <clears throat> who we are. So we just talked about who we are. Let's talk about where we want to go. Okay. Let's talk about where we want to go and what that means. So this segues into this part, because I want you to take a look at your business as it ends out of 2021. Okay. Oh, let me just take this down. So, <laughs> oh, I did. It's, it's a little bit behind. Okay. I want you to think about your business and how it's ending 2021 and think this is this the year that got me to my goal. When you first started out in January of 2021 and you thought by the end of this year, this is what's going to happen. Have you hit that goal? And you can tell us in the comments because this is a safe place to be or you can just think to yourself. But as you end out this business, is this the year that got you to your goal? Is this was this the year right that I was running a profitable, sustainable six figure plus business? And if it's not, thank you, Dolores, for sharing. And if it's not, then it's time and it's the perfect time of year to determine what we want as we go forward in our business. Now, I'm not talking about New Year's resolutions, okay? But what I am talking about is a sustainable plan. I hear you, Melissa. I hear you, Linda, right? Is a sustainable plan to get you to those goals because we can sit there. Some of us maybe even go into January and I'm just speaking from my own personal. I'm not saying that this is you. This is my own personal experience. But some of us come into the new year and we're like, well, I would like to make five figures every launch or I would like to, you know, have a six figure business. But we do not know the steps in how to get there. Like just putting it out into the universe is one thing, but we can't put it out to the universe and then just sit here looking pretty and then, you know, not having the plan, the sustainable, repeatable plan to do so. And this is what we're going to talk about. We're going to go into depth today. So as you can see, right, like, well, my ladies know, because when I'm coaching, my, I'm all my calendar for this whole entire year is right here off to my right. Okay. Okay. So I have my marketing, I have my content strategy, and I know exactly what was going on this year. Right, Nicole, right? So we have realistic goals moving forward. Realistic, but you still want to hold the vision for those lofty ones. But what happens is when you have a plan, when you have the marketing laid out, I know exactly, I knew exactly this year when I was doing every promotion. And then when you have your promotions, your offers that you're making to your people, and we do that through boot camps here, when you know when you're making them, your whole, <laughs> your whole business world, ladies, can become so much clearer. So my team and I right now are putting all of this together so that in January of 2022, when it comes around, we are hitting the ground running right? And I want you to have a profitable quarter one in 2022. Then, and obviously you do as well, then this is the time to start to plan that out. 
Now, if you've been watching my lives from last Monday or the Monday before, I've invited you to attend a workshop that we're having this coming Sunday from noon to 3 p.m. Eastern, where we plan that out. We are going to sit down and we are going to take the 12 months and we are going to chunk them out. And you are going to know, when am I going to do my launches? When am I going to put my offers out? What is that going to look like? What content do I create around that? What's the marketing behind that? And it's not crazy complicated. It's so simple. And like I said, in November of 2020, I sat down, I printed out these calendars. Ladies, I'll be honest with you. I had no idea what was coming down the pipe. I just knew I had it to, I had to stop doing all of the things and context switching and squirrel syndrome all over. And I had to do the one thing. And I thought, what's the worst that can happen? I'm in the same damn place I was last year than I am this year. You know, what is the, what is the worst that could happen? The best that could happen is that we had, I had everything planned out and it was an easy year, not to say it was um, not jam packed, <laughs> Not to say that it wasn't full, you know, full throttle forward, but I didn't have to sit and guess on a monthly, weekly, or even daily basis as to, hmm, what am I going to do in my business next? Okay. So I want you to have a plan for your next year. And it's great if you have a paper planner and it's great if you have a digital and use Google Calendar and you do all the things. That's not what I'm talking about. You can have a great plan of what your goals and what you want to hit monetarily in your business, but that's not what I'm talking about. I want to know when are you making those offers to your audience this year? What do you want your business to look like in 2022? What are your financial goals for your business in 2022? And more importantly, do you have a sustainable plan in order to hit those goals? Are you hiring a team to help you hit those goals? So my advice is to not like just let the year come and simply roll and do the same things over and over again. Okay. I want you to join us in doing this planning session. And at the end, I'll let you know exactly how you can do so. Okay. It's free. It's a free training for all my paid clients. But even for those ladies that aren't working with me right now, and you're in this group or gents, all it is I'm asking is for a donation and I'm going to pass, pass, pass it on. Okay. So the third thing I want to break down in this particular quote, we talked about who we are, where we want to go. And now let's talk about <clears throat> what we want to accomplish. The third part of this, what we want to accomplish in living with our purpose. Okay. So what happens is a number of years ago, let me tell you a story where I went to an event and John Maxwell was speaking. Any of you know who John Maxwell is, you can let, if you're a John Maxwell fan, you can let me know in the comments. And he was speaking and he's, I love listening to him. He's just, I don't know, he's funny. He's mesmerizing. Every single thing that comes out of that man's mouth is like liquid gold. I just love him to bits. And we were speaking, Dolores knows him, and or sorry, he was speaking. I wasn't speaking to him. And he was talking about a habit that him and his wife have, a ritual of sorts when it comes to the end of the year and looking back at all of day, all that they have accomplished. I agree, Heather, John Maxwell is fantastic. Now, um, what happens is he was, what he said is that him and his wife go out for a nice dinner around New Year's, right? Yes, I know. I like him very much. Him and his wife go out and have dinner every year and they go to a beautiful restaurant, he says, and they have a nice meal and it's romantic and they have a nice wine or champagne. But what he does is he brings his planner. And I was like, I love you even more because now you have a paper planner and you bring it to dinner. Um, but he says what they do is they sit down and they have their, their drinks and they have their dinner. And then after dinner, what they do is they sit and they go through the planner and they look at all of the events and all of the trips and all everything on their calendar that they have done over the 12 months. And he says it's one of the most beautiful times that they share together as a couple. 
And it's an exceptional way, he said, for him to see how his business has grown over the years. And I have started to do this. I don't, we don't, my husband and I don't go out for dinner and do this, but I do sit um, usually in front of the fire. I have a beautiful glass of wine with me. And I do take a look at all of the events that I have done over the year. And I invite you to do some sort of this ritual, some sort of routine where I want you to start to look back at your business or even over the back, you know, the previous 11 or 10 months and see what actions you've taken, risks that you have taken, bold moves that you have taken in order to move your business to another level. I'm telling you, it's very telling. It's you're either going to see all that you have done and accomplished and learned and tried and succeeded and failed or to be honest you're going to see where maybe you've disconnected from your business right life gets in the way we get too busy and so sometimes what happens is we just we walk away from it we don't do the things we don't keep doing the hard work either way ladies it's a wonderful amount of time spent in reflection in your business and a lot of times we look back at our business and we think, oh, it's not where it, you know, I want it to be. Oh, so frustrating, right? And I want you to take the time at the end of this year to think about all the things that you have done in order to move the needle in your business. Some of you have invested in a coach this year or several coaches this year. Some of you have, you know, solidified your offer for your business. Some of you have just been thinking about, you know, getting into business. Some of you have gone live in your business. Some of you have created a community for your business. Some of you have had uh, profitable boot camps and you've made money in your business. Celebrate the action. Celebrate the investments, celebrate the lessons. And I also encourage you to celebrate the failures. Lord knows, ladies, I have had my fair share because we know with anything, when you celebrate your failures and you see the lesson or the silver lining, it will not only make you stronger, but your business as well. What is the lesson in the hiccup? What is the lesson? in the failure? What is the lesson in whatever that's not going perfect? So instead of getting like all up in arms and upset, what can you learn and then tweak and move forward and make better, right? If business is, if online business was so easy and so beautiful and so like, oh, I'm just going to do this and it's going to work, then everybody would be doing it. <laughs> but we're, it's not everybody is right. We're a different breed of person. Okay. The second tip is, um, I think said we was to live with priority. Okay. Live with priority. So we talked about living with purpose. Now I want you to think about living with priority, right? And this particular, um, oh, did I put this quote in here? Sorry, ladies, you know, I'm always uh, thinking planning is bringing the future into the present so that you can do something about it now. And this is where we're at. You're at a pivotal time in your business so that you can start to plan and bring into the future, bring that future into the present so that you can do something about it right now. So what's going to happen on December 5th is we're going, I'm literally going to show you my promotional calendar. I'm going to show you how to mimic it. I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. We're going to put the calendars on the wall. I love a wall calendar in my office, right? I love my paper planner, but it's not for like right in front of me. So when I walk in my, in my office right there, I know there's my year and I do, I plan out the entire year. And I chunk it down and I show you exactly my promotional calendar. And we're going to do this together. It's not like you're going to come and watch me do it. Mine's going to be done and I'm going to show you how to do it, <laughs> right? So just for a donation and it's this December 5th from noon till three. So let's go through, let me take this off of here because what happens is when I show a banner and then I'm watching you, hi, Karen, I can't wait either. When, when I'm watching you make comments, um, it's, you know, the it's overlapping. Okay. When each day begins, we have a choice. 
And we can ask, what shall I do? Or we can ask ourselves, what should I do? And without direction or without purpose, shall, what I shall do can always, right, can always get us somewhere. We can always like, what shall I do today? Oh, okay, there's a few things and it'll get us somewhere. But when you're doing something on purpose, there will always be something you should do that will get people to where you must go. So I have a way of organizing my calendar that I have taught to hundreds of women over the years. And they literally say it has been the game changer for them. Because when I first started doing this business, ladies, I was a full-time teacher. Okay. Then I would come home and I had a, I had a young son, you know, he was two years old when I started this whole online gig. And then I would come, you know, pick him up, bring him home. And then I would run uh, from four to eight at night. And I would teach at the university, my local university. And then I would come home, put my son to bed. And then I would sit in my office and I would work on my stuff. Or I would get up early in the morning and get that stuff done. So I had to be extremely organized. I was running a household, right? A son, a husband. Um, I had a teaching career. I had a, you know, I was teaching at night at university to the people who wanted to become teachers. And then I was trying to get my side gig off the ground. And so when people would be like, Lori, how do you do everything? I was like, I have a system. <laughs> right? I have a system because I always would wake up and go, what should I do for this week? And then I had a system to make that happen, right? When we live life on purpose, we're living with priority and that takes precedence. So if we're running a business and we're trying to get our business off the ground, we often believe that we are living with purpose, when we are living with passion and sharing a skill set or a company and products and giving back to a bigger purpose, that's why we have this we have this calling inside of us. Every single one of you that is watching this live or on the replay, every single one of you that's in this group, we all have a calling inside of us. But if we are living with that purpose without priority, if we have that purpose and it's not prioritized, it's powerless powerless. So in the book, the one thing Gary Keller says, the truth about success is that our ability to achieve extraordinary results in the future lies with stringing powerful moments together one after another. How beautiful is that? And that's exactly what we're going to do this coming Sunday, December 5th, powerfully, strategically, and intently plan out everything we need in order to be profitable in 2022. Because life will come up. And as beautiful as I had everything planned out this year, I knock on wood, I was able to facilitate all of those offers to my people. I was able to hit all of those plans because I had them there. My whole family knew that they were there. We organized our life and um, our business around those, right? And then nothing came up to sidetrack me, like big, big, big stuff. So again, knock on wood. But that's going to happen. That's going to happen. But if we go into the year knowing that this is where we're going to be and this is where we're going to take our business and we have a plan and it doesn't have to be complicated. I don't come here to complicate things, <laughs> right? I come here to simplify your life and give you everything you need in order to move forward. So the decisions that I made after reading this particular book, and in particularly, ladies, this chapter on goal setting changed the way I do business. And I want to share with you and walk you through that process step by step for your own business in our three hour workshop. If you've been too busy to do all the things in the past, then you need to start prioritizing your one thing in your business for 2022. Now, a lot of us choose a word for the year. Okay. My, <laughs> all right. My whole rainbow of post-its. Yes. We are going to use post-its. I have a, an affinity infinity or affinity, sorry, for post-its. So my word last year, ladies, was consistency. And ironically, it was the first year that I actually was consistent 
with what my one thing was, which was multiple boot camps throughout the year. My new word, does any, did anybody have a word for last year? I would love, before I share with you my new word for this year, does anybody have their word from last year? Or, right, if you uh, have had a word in the past, we'll talk about our word for next year, but did anybody have a word for this year? So mine was consistency. I would love to know if you had a word, if you're watching live or on the replay. So Linda says, connection. I love it. And Linda's very good at that. Linda's very good. Ooh, Facebook user, I don't know your name. Sorry. It says freedom. Oh, it's Rosa. Rosa. Hi, it's freedom. Hi, hi, hi. It doesn't show me on my computer, but it shows me on my phone. Freedom. I love that word. I love that word. So when Linda is thinking about connection and Rosa is thinking about freedom, it's wonderful to have those words. It's wonderful to have those words. But now, what plans and systems and uh, priorities do you have in place in order for Linda to make the connections happen, in order for Rosa to make that freedom come to fruition? Janice says she's fearless, right? Her word this year is fearless, right? And I've seen it. I've seen Janice become more fearless as the year comes on. Nicole says declutter and organize, right? I love it. I love it. And when we're moving forward with our words, and I love us to have a vision, I love us to have like a, a point or a place to kind of hang our coats, ladies. Now what has to happen is what do you do with this word? What do you do with this word? What do you do with this plan? What do you do with this vision? And I cannot wait to break this down for you. Cannot wait to break it down for you. I'm so excited. This year, my word is going to be visibility. So I have consistency. And it's coming with me. We're not going to ditch consistency. I know exactly what worked this year for consistency. I'm going to do it all again. I'm going to do it all again. I'm going to have my marketing calendar all planned out. And from my marketing calendar, then you should be able to plan out your content. And from your content, you should be able to plan out everything, right? Terry Reed says, shalom, nothing missing, nothing broken. <laughs> Um, you should be able to plan out your year very simply. So my word for this year is visibility. And my entire next year, ladies, is already planned out with that word in place so that I can make that visibility happen in order to hit our astronomical financial goals next year. Okay. So what is your word for 2022. And if you don't have it, it's okay, but keep it top of mind. Think about what is it that I want in my business and in my life in order to hit those goals. Okay. All right. Tip number three is live for productivity. Okay. Live for productivity. So we talked about live for, um, uh, purpose. We talked live with priority. And now this last one I'm going to go into is live for productivity, right? And I love this particular quote. I think I already showed it to you, but planning is bringing the future into the present, right? So that you have something to do about it now, right? So you can do something about it now. And now is the time when you have to start planning your business. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that, right? Next year is favor, Renee says. So nice to see you, Renee. Welcome. I love this. Okay. So productivity isn't about being a workhouse, workhorse, ladies. I was going to say workout, but a workhorse. Okay. Productivity is about keeping, it's not about being a workhouse, workhorse, sorry. It's not about keeping busy, right? That big, busy badge that we love to wear, some of us. It's not about burning the midnight oil. It's about priorities, planning, and then fiercely protecting the time around those priorities and that planning, okay? It isn't about doing more. It isn't about always being busy and frazzled. It isn't about, you know, like I remember those, those nights and those early mornings 11 years ago when my son would go to bed at 7, 7.30, 8 o'clock, depending on, you know, how the night went. And then I was in my office 11, 11.30, midnight, doing all of the things that I could because I was all by myself in my business, 
doing all the things that I could in order to make it happen. And some of us reach those goals so much quicker than others, right? We're not going to kill ourselves by comparison. But nevertheless, it's not about doing all of that. When you have this plan, and I never share something with my ladies if it hasn't worked for me very well. So I'm all about the testing and then bringing it to you. I'm all about the testing and then bringing it to you once it works very, very well. And then I break it down so that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. For you, all of you that are watching this or in this group or all of the entrepreneurs in this, in this particular um, community, I want you to have the five-figure launches. I want you to have the five, six, and seven-figure business because the more women and the more entrepreneurs who are out there doing the things that we're doing, we're going to change the world fiercely. And I am passionate about helping you get to that next goal. So Gary Keller, again, the one thing, the book that I've been talking about, goes on to say that we are always doing something, working, playing, eating, sleeping, sitting, standing, breathing, going live. If we are alive, we are doing something. And even if it's nothing, even if we're just sitting and doing something, it's still something because we're sitting, watching, breathing, right? And he says that productive people get more done and achieve better results and earn far more in their hours than the rest. Now in the book, he actually shows you and he takes you through this whole process on how to choose the one thing and then protecting the time and using it in order to produce that one thing. And what I'm going to do in the um, workshop that I'm hosting is I'm going to show you and I'm going to show you how to apply it to your business. I'm not only going to show you how to apply it to your business, but I'm going to give you the actual plan that we use to rock this year. So let me break it down for you. In my business, the one thing that I do on repeat, as you know, is five-day boot camps. And at the end of my five-day boot camp, I invite people to join me so that they can learn my repeatable, sustainable, simple way to invite people to your signature offer. So when I was doing my planning for 2022 and for 2021, I decided that I was going to do boot camps on repeat for, for this entire year. That was my one thing. Now, I have done many things over the years, and I've had squirrel syndrome, as I mentioned, and I've decided when I decided I was going to focus on the one thing, and for one year, I had it all mapped out in my business, as I said, and the, my business is nowhere near the business that it was in January of just this year. Now you're doing the one thing. Now your thing, your one thing doesn't have to be boot camps, but I assume if you're here, you have some sort of interest in them. Although I would love it to be because I love the power of a boot camp, ladies. But whatever you decide here and now, I want you to think about not only your word moving forward and your passion and your plan and your productivity and your priorities, but what's your one thing going to be? It is so hard to pick the one thing and stay there. I watch my ladies scramble with this all the time. And I think, oh my goodness, that's me. That was me when I first started, right? They want to do all the things because we're told in order to be an entrepreneur, we have to be everywhere and doing all the things and it's total bullshit and you don't have to do it, okay? So what's your one thing? Then you need to stick to it, plan it, make time for it, and then implement it. And that's it. We honestly go to work sometimes to make our job as an entrepreneur more uh, or harder than it needs to be. And listen, ladies, again, I'm not, this is a no judgment zone. I am talking from personal experience. Maybe you've come into the entrepreneurial world and you've rocked it, right? And you don't have all of these, you know, ideas in your head and you can just go, yeah, I'm just going to do the one thing. I asked my ladies just to pick one social media platform. It's very hard. It's very hard for them just to pick one and go all in and be masterful and show up consistently on the one thing. And so when we are looking to be productive, have priorities, do our planning and be profitable in 2022, this is what Sunday, December the 5th is going to look like. So all of my ladies that are inside of my academy, they're coming. This is a special training that I usually, I, I was just planning to do for them, but I'm going to open it up because if you can have the year that I have had in your business, then I think 
I, I, I have morally, I have to share it. So we're going to talk about your entire business in terms of your marketing, your offers and your content. Now, this is a free training, right? But I'm asking for an energy exchange of a $25 donation so that I can, because I'm collecting money and I'm giving it to a local women's shelter here in town. Now, what has happened in the past, and I've done this, this will be the seventh year I have a fill a stocking event. And what I do is I go out into the community and my family and my friends and total strangers um, come together and we actually fill a stocking and we put presents in it and we mark it if it's for a girl or if it's for a boy. And I've brought it to different agencies around um, my local town. And what's happening is this year, we're actually giving it to a women's shelter. It's across the street from my home and they distribute it to the children at Christmas because of COVID and the restrictions and everything. It looks a little bit different over the last couple of years. We can't actually bring in the physical stockings. Um, but what we can do is we make a donation and then they go forward and they bring it. I've brought books to them in the past. I, uh, we've, I've brought, um, birthday boxes to them in the past. That's a whole other thing. I love my birthday boxes. But um, yes, Karen has already donated and she is coming. So um, it's free. It's not costing uh, me anything. I'm not charging you anything. I'm just going to pass that beautiful donation on in your name. So thank you very much. So this is going to give you your year in advance, a plan out your year in advance. Uh, if you had that planned out already, what stressors would that relieve? <laughs> right? What, what sense of clarity would that give to you? Where would you and your business be this time next year? Think about that, ladies. Where do you want your business to be this time, and gents, sorry, next year? It, is it going to be exactly where it is? Or is it going to grow? And the only way that we can do this is the best way that I can help you do this is to show you the exact marketing plan that we did and plan out your entire year using what we did this year. Yay for a plan. So you could be either very close or even beyond where my business is right now. Six figures, uh, four time, four part-time employees, a signature program, a mastermind program, a beginner program that some of my ladies are just going through. And my entire year of offers, marketing, and social media already planned out. I'm telling you, it's a game changer. So again, I'm offering this to all of my Launch It Live ladies, my pretty and profitable ladies, my inner circle ladies, and all of you who want to join. I'll put the link for the donation button um, below, and then we'll send you out an email and give you the Zoom link. And that's this Sunday from noon till three. Now, I'm getting a lot of questions. Is this recorded? And the answer is no, it's not. Because I want you to be there. I want you to be live. I want you to be in the community. I want you to be surrounded by that energy. I want you to, if you can, and I know a lot of you can't, and that's okay. I want you to be able to clear that afternoon and be live and get it done with us. Okay. It's very powerful to show up live. And so I'm not recording it at this time, but I am um, definitely inviting you to it. So it's our plan your year workshop this Sunday from noon till three. And I'm excited to have you there because I know what it can do for your business. And I'm excited to show you exactly what we did and and what you'll need. You'll also get some emails this week letting you know um, you may need a couple of like Melissa already said, she's got her colorful post-its and that's what we're going to work with just like these little ones. You need some post-its. Um, there's some ideas for wall planners or I'm sending you a planner that you can or like months that you can print. Anyway, it's going to be lots of fun. Who can't have fun with planning and post-its? It's going to be great. So I want to thank you so much, not only for being here, being in this particular group, being on this live or replay. And then you know what? Just being out there and sharing your gifts with the world. It is not what everybody plans to do. Sometimes it's very difficult to, for people to make that brave next step. And I, I want to thank you for having the courage to take what it is that you know and what it is that you do well and you've either transformed in your own life or you're transforming that in the lives of others and sharing it with the world. Congrats to you. Love to all of you. So those of you that are registered, I am going to see your smiling faces on Zoom on Sunday. And the rest of you, I will see you again next Monday, noon Eastern, right here in Launch It Live Simplified for another version of Make an Impact Monday. Thanks, everybody. And we'll see you soon.